Hi everyone, Simon Chappell here. I'm the Quit Alcohol Coach and I'm delighted to be joined today by Martha Campbell who has been in my Be Sober Facebook group for a while and now she's got a group of her own. She successfully quit drinking, she's helping other people. Hi Martha. Hi Simon. Thanks so much for joining me today. I know we're all locked down in our houses at the moment and we can't go anywhere. So it's nice for me to have some interaction with somebody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I haven't spoken to many people. So I'm excited to hear about your story and how you ended up going from drinking to having your own Facebook group, which is so awesome. Tell me uh, to start with, like, what, what were you drinking? What did your drinking behavior look like? Um, from the beginning, it, it was just like everybody else. You thought, yeah, okay, you're getting from work, have a glass of wine, that that was fine, didn't feel that problem. But come back to it, I would say it would have been probably about 15 years ago when that's when I started to, I was still drinking every night, I was still functioning, going to work, looking after myself, no health problems. Um, that's when the worry started and you would wake up in the morning full of guilt. Yeah. But by night time, that's, you felt fine. Again, it just on and on and on until obviously my health started deteriorating. I knew it was a problem, but I just didn't know what to do about it. Yeah. So I carried on. And that, yeah, I found myself and, in that uh, trap. I got to the, yeah, I mean, I got to... I thought two bottles of wine a night wasn't a problem. At that time, I, I wouldn't touch it during the day um, until it got to the extent where it was three bottles. Then at my worst, just before I stopped, it can be three bottles of wine, maybe 12 shots of vodka in a day, seven days a week. When I was awake, I was drinking, and that was my life, really. Um, did you quit through the alcohol experiment? Was that how you started? No. No. Um, it's a long story, but at the end, I tried a alcohol detox once at home, the 10-day one through addiction. Um, I lasted 37 days. Thought I could moderate. Died. Couldn't. I did that. Well, I got, yeah, got really ill. Um, but that was just after my... The, the first time I'd done the detox, but then Simon, if I wasn't sober then, I, would, I wouldn't be here today. I would have died. God. I had ruptured appendix. I had it for three months and I got sepsis. Jeez. But I knew, I was so, the only reason I, it was instinct told me I had to get to the hospital that night and they just, they just got it in time. Oh my God. But, and then it came up to Christmas. I thought, oh, I'll be fine. And then it just went downhill, the drinking again. Um, Everything I recovered from um, the hospital, um, but they didn't operate because they managed to get it all under control. So then it was Christmas, then all, then it just got back into that horrible drinking every Routine, night. Yeah. And then alcohol's always been my coping mechanism. And since la last year, just like one thing after another, everything everything bad that could possibly happen happened in my life and I turned to alcohol just the nightly I thought well, I've not got a problem it's although it is a problem but it's not too bad a problem then it went into daytime drinking then I couldn't function without it I was drinking 24 7 and I knew and then I got ill again with the appendicitis but they rescheduled my op I cancelled it because I knew there's no way I was fit to get anaesthetic that was July last year um october came i got my other my next appointment i was worse than ever with alcohol and i phoned my doctor i said you need to get me a detox i need this operation and they worked really hard the nhs <laughs> worked oh, yeah. really really hard got a lot of and they got me in yeah they got me in the day before my op started my detox i was at operation went fine I'd done the five day detox, came home, and that's been me. That's amazing. That really is. But, and you never look back. I still, I still don't know why, because my 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 priority at the time was get and get this detox, get the op, 
I, I never thought about, am I going to go, go and have a drink when I come out? I never thought about that. And you've gone from that to successfully quitting alcohol. So there's going to be people watching this who mm. are you know, daily wine drinkers, daily, drinking spirits, beer every day, thinking, how yeah. the hell do I get out of this? And you yeah. are a testament that absolutely you can. You know, I was drinking between one and three bottles of red wine every day. There was hardly any days I can remember where I didn't drink. And, you know, your story is yeah. similar to mine. And it's amazing to be free, which is so cool. Yeah. And you, you've done it. Totally. So how long have I mean, you... I would say it was probably a, at least 40 units a day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I don't know about you, but I used to Google, am I an alcoholic? Uh, what's the safe daily limit? And I'd read the safe daily alcohol limits and I'd think, hang on a minute, I'm drinking that in a day or two days. And you know, that's yeah. meant to be a week. And then I started looking at the European ones because they were more generous. And I found that yeah. Spain had a better limit than ours. And I thought, well, I've been there on holiday and I like paella, so let's go with Spain. But even that, <laughs> was, even that wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, but your story, you know, I, I'm sure will give a lot of people hope that you know, no matter where you are or what your drinking is like, you, you can break free. You, you know, we yeah, rely on it definitely. as a crutch. And you said you were using it to self-medicate or as a, as a crutch to, what, what was that for um well I've always I've always suffered with my health I think it well so I always thought there was something wrong with me the aches the pains the, the stomach aches being sick all the time now I know it was alcohol but at the time I never ever thought it was I never I never put my finger on it. Although I think maybe, yeah, at the back of my mind. But then it got to the stage where I had a drink to feel better. So, yeah. I mean, I, I never, I was always open with my doctors. I, I never lied to them at all. Really? And yeah, they know the whole, they know, they know everything. You're one of the few. I've, <laughs> I've never, I've never, I did in the beginning when it, when it wasn't a problem for me. Um, I would, if they asked, I would say, oh, two bottles of wine a week. Um, but when I knew it was time I, I needed help, I was honest. I would go to the doctors after I'd had three bottles of wine and tell them, look, you need to do something. Yeah. But the first, the first step, if you want to change your life without alcohol, you've got to help yourself first. Right. And it took me a long time to realise that. And once I did, and I put 100% into it, the, 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 they've been amazing. My doctors, the hospitals, counsellors, everybody. They've been amazing. And I often say to people that you know, if, if you want to quit alcohol or you realise you've got a problem with alcohol, I think having that desire to quit it makes all the difference because when I've seen people who, you know, they've got a problem with drinking, but they don't really acknowledge it. They don't really want to quit. It's so much harder to, you know, you're almost forcing yeah. someone to quit. They feel like they've had their, had their toys taken off them. If you take the drink mm -hmm. away, whereas when you want it and you recognize that a better life is on the other side, it becomes easier. It's still not easy, yeah. but it becomes easier. I mean, at the time I, uh... I gave up this time. Um, I, I couldn't see any way forward without it. But as I say, once you make that change, and every day gets better, and you 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 know yourself is not going back. Yeah. Exactly. It's, and, and I, think... I mean, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing, actually. And you just grow stronger as well. I think what I found, I don't know about you, but as the time passed, more things would happen in my life and I would connect with more people. I would, you know, I would go to my first wedding without drinking. I would go to a dance on a dance floor, alcohol free or whatever it might be. And, and each little milestone just made me stronger and, and never want to look back. And, yeah. and that felt good. I remember the first gig I went to sober and actually been able to remember the set list and not going to the toilet 15 times because I'd drunk so much beer. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, who knew? I, and driving home and getting into my comfy bed and the room wasn't spinning. It was a great feeling. Yeah, 
And yeah. I, I never want that to change. I started thinking about all the gigs that I'd actually spoiled because I was so pissed at the time. You know, it's crazy. So yeah. And obviously, you've you've gone on now to help other people, and you've got your own Facebook group, which is absolutely awesome. So I'd love to hear. Well, I guess first of all, what inspired you to do that? And tell us, tell me a bit about the group. I'm sure everyone would love to hear about it. Um, the reason why I wanted to do it was where everything I've gone through. Um, I found it. It wasn't as hard as I thought. Yeah. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. It was the first couple of weeks was bad, but obviously that's it does take time. And then I thought, you know what, if I can do this and change my life, even if I can change one other person's life, because once, once that alcohol gets hold of you, it, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Because it, it takes over, it takes over everything, it takes over your life, your health, everything. And I mean, I've been drinking for good what, 25 years, so that's more than half of my life. And for me now, it's like it's like I've never been in this life before. Yeah. It's, all, it's like all starting from the beginning. So I thought, why not do a Facebook group? Um, but then I thought, because the sort of group that I, I want is to have it, like, although concentrate on the serious stuff, but add some fun stuff in there as well so people can think, well, yeah, you can still have a laugh, you can still have a joke. Sobriety isn't all boring, it's it's the opposite. Absolutely. Yeah. I came up mean? I came up with a phrase recently which was take the serious out of sober because when you Google the word sober in the dictionary, it actually says serious. Yeah, serious is one of the words for sober. And you're so mm -hmm. right. A lot of people think that this is just a serious thing. All we're talking about is dealing with difficult feelings, uncomfortable emotions and having to use willpower and feeling miserable all the time when actually I've never had so much fun. I've never smiled so much since I've quit. Yeah. Sure, it was tough at the beginning and there was a few weeks I had to get through that were challenging. But after that, I felt completely free and I've never been happier. So, yeah, take the take the serious out of sober. I think that's a that's my phrase to, to go yeah. for. So, Definitely. And is that why you called the group New Beginnings? Because you felt it was a new beginning for you? Yeah, and your destination. And then it's sort of, it's like from addiction to the joys of sobriety. Yeah, exactly. So, because sobriety is it's full of joy, it's full of excitement. It's, I mean, I look forward to going to bed every night. Because I know, and see, as soon as I wake up in the morning, whether it's five o'clock, seven o'clock, that's me. I'm up. I've got got my coffee. I'm sitting here, and oh, it's just a totally different life. So, what if if you could sort of summarise the the main differences you've noticed in yourself? What would be obviously sleep is clearly better, and sounds like you've got lots more energy. But what are the main I things? I don't, I don't sleep much, but what I do get is good quality sleep, so I can survive on four hours a night, <laughs> and um, I'm full of energy, full of life, I'm a lot more positive, I'm a lot more confident, um, I'm a lot more intelligent than, than I thought I was, <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a totally different person. And I do need to stand back sometimes and take a deep breath and think, did I just say that or did I just do that? <laughs> it's, I mean, my mum, I had that conversation with my mum the other day. I said, I'm just starting to realise how much of a different person I am. And the person I am, I think it's that person I've been looking for all my life and I'm just starting to find her. That's amazing. And I'm starting to like her. That's so cool. And isn't it funny? Is, I mean, that makes me really emotional to think like that. Yeah. Because I, I've i always known my life to hate myself because I knew what I was doing. It was no good for me. 
That's so cool. That's making me a little bit emotional when you say that. <laughs> because I know exactly, and also I can relate to exactly what you're saying because I thought that when I, when I was drinking, I always believed I was life and soul of the party. I was this extrovert character. I was always trying to impress people and make people like me and all this kind of thing. And then when I quit, exactly like you described, I discovered a new person. And actually, you might not believe it, but I'm actually quite introverted and I'm not that person, um, says he who talks on YouTube and stands on stage yeah. and stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm not that kind of... Per I just discovered a different a different person and it was almost like I'd had this suit of armour on that was alcohol and I was using that to portray a different persona to who yes. I really was and it was like it had been taken off me and sure it felt a bit scary at times without the suit of armour on but I just felt it was the real person and like you said I actually quite like the person I discovered yeah and and it's so weird because just like you I drank for over 20 years every day and I'd never seen this person before. You know, I was a teenager when I started drinking. And to then find this new person who actually has got some quite nice characteristics most of the time, my wife probably wouldn't agree, mm -hmm. but was, yeah, it was, was just wonderful. And it's, yeah, it's so cool that you've experienced that as well. Thanks for sharing yeah. that, because I think that's, um, that's yeah, it may be a little bit emotional, like I say, that's quite, quite <laughs> powerful. So in terms of, when you quit how for me i i spent about five years in this place where i knew i had a problem i did not know what to do about it and i kept swaying from drinking to blot out the worries and the feelings of um knowing that i shouldn't be drinking and i just kept going back to alcohol to kind of just blot it all out yeah. to silence the noise so did you have a, pe a period like that? You mentioned you knew you had a problem. Did that go on for years or months? Um, I'd say about 15 years ago. Really? Yeah. So you... And that's, I mean, I lived every day of my life up until five months ago feeling disgusted in myself. I hated myself. I just, I didn't want to live anymore either. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't cope with how I was feeling. It, I had no life at all. I mean, I didn't leave the house unless it was for um, doctor's appointments or anything important for 10 years. Jeez, sounds familiar though. I've, <laughs> I've just started leaving that, being able to go out and about now. Wow. Which I'm getting used to and then now we're stuck in again. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean... God. So I, really, I didn't have a life. So really, you know, I, I often talk about how I put alcohol in front of the most important things in my life, like my wife, my son, my career, my health, et cetera, et cetera. But you were, yeah, it actually sounds like yours was probably more more so than I was. Yeah, you were literally like living for the booze day in, day out and not... We... I, I, didn't, I didn't know life without alcohol. Just... I mean, towards, towards the end, well... I'd say for a couple of years, I couldn't even go to the supermarket without having a half a bottle of wine before I went to do my food shopping. Okay. I stopped going out. I stopped doing stuff because I would rather sit at home and have my wine. That's incredible. And now you've come this far. You're five months alcohol free. You've got your own Facebook group, and you're going for. You know, I watch what you do on social media, which is awesome. And if you don't follow Martha, make sure you do, please. Um, and. Yeah, you're just going from strength to strength. And, you know, looking at you now, you're, like, full of energy. You know, you're telling me you were a person who had no confidence and you're here talking yeah. live. Yeah, it's just amazing. It's just so wonderful. Yeah. So do you... I mean, there's so much I want to do in my life now. There's so much. Have you got a sober bucket list? No, not yet. <laughs> because, well, I, th I thought about it last week. Because um, I'm 48 now and I thought, you know what? Why don't I do the 60 things before I'm 60? Oh, yeah. I mean, a year ago, I didn't think I would live to see the age of 60, but I know I will now. Yeah. I, I just... 
I mean, I had to live every day at a time then because I didn't know what my future was going to be. But I can make plans for the future. I yeah. can I can do stuff now. So, yeah, I think the 60 things before I'm 60. That's such I'll a good idea. It, I, think. I love that. Mm -hmm. And what a, yeah, what a gift! What a gift you've given yourself! Yeah, it's just it's so incredible. Do you? I'd be interested to know. Obviously, you're active in Facebook sober groups, and you've got your own group. Do Do you do any? A lot of people. In fact, I've got a couple of questions. A lot of people say to me, Simon, when will I stop thinking about drinking when they quit? So I guess that's that's the first question. Is do you still think about drinking? Do you still have cravings? Right. I do still think about alcohol. Um, I say my best times is morning up until about mid afternoon. Yeah. Then those little that little wine match over there sort of keeps coming in to say hello. Um, and that can last till about eight o'clock, but it's just for a split second. And then I tell myself, no, you don't need it. And then I just remind myself of what I've got. Yeah. And going, going back to the ball, what's it going to achieve? Nothing. No. And I could very well be, if, if, if if I didn't want this as much as I do, and I get, I think you're always going to think about alcohol. Yeah, it's I always agree. going to be somewhere. Um, but I think you know yourself. You will know you won't go back. I can't say never, and I don't, and probably no, no one that's had an alcohol problem can. But I'm confident that I can say I'll never go back there. But I've got too much to lose. So come back to your question. Do I still think about it? Yeah. Split second and it's gone. So and do you did you or did you kind of give yourself like tactics for dealing with that stuff or did you just find do you know what? Just sort of almost naturally, I just know I want this, I love what I love my new life. Why would I? Did is it just did, your own mindset or did you kind of read books to learn how to manage those feelings yes my very first book Anna Grace this naked mind is a life changer it totally is it really is it's a great book Annie yeah, was Annie I mean, was on our live yesterday I don't know if you were on she came on at the same yeah. time I got this t-shirt yeah. when I went to see her last because this is the team that her family supports I bought it when I was with okay. her last <laughs> Yeah, I think, I don't know what it is, I clicked on, it must have been something on the internet, but I get like little, is it, little um, emails or little stories or every day, yeah. updates maybe something, I don't know what it was I clicked on, so yeah, and I always follow her on YouTube as well, but that book, it is, and it's, it's very, it's very true to life as well. Yeah. And it, you, you, it gives you a total 100% understanding. So, yeah, that changed my life. That. I've not done a lot of reading because I don't find the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it was um, The Sober Diaries. Oh, yeah, that's a great Claire, book. Claire Pooley, Claire is Pooley, it? yeah. And then I'm just about finished the mm, Unexpected Joys of Being Sober. Oh, yeah, that's... Is that, is that Catherine yeah. Catherine Gray? I think wrote that one. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, but it is. I think yeah. I've got it in my massive book pile. This um, and my this. next book on my list is your one. Oh yeah, you've got to read my uh, one. Sober, the survival sober survival guide. guide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quick plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Annie, but, um, Annie wrote the foreword for my book as well. So yeah, yeah. she's really good as well. Um, so yeah, that is my next aim is your book. But I would totally recommend anyone, as soon as they think about giving up alcohol, get the books. Yeah, they they really are such a helpful tool. And I'm not a big. You wouldn't believe it. I wrote a book, but I'm not a massive reader. <laughs> and 
I have read so many quit alcohol books, uh, and they, and I think there's two styles. You've got the kind of the more sort of science based instructional books like Alcohol Explained, and pr- this Naked Mind to a degree is like that. Uh, and then yeah. you, and then there's more which are kind of memoir style, like the Sober Diaries, which you know some of that had me laughing out loud, and some of it almost made me cry, yeah. but. So, so there's, I think there's books for everybody. Yeah, it's not like this is a manual how to quit drinking. They, they don't really work like that. A lot of them are, uh, you know, mine is kind of intertwined with my story as well as how to actually quit drinking and, and how are you mm-hmm. going to do this on your own or with support or whatever. So, But you're right, this Naked Mind, you know, it was a game changer for me as well. Yeah, And um, totally. It, you know, it's the only book I've ever read twice in a row and after that I just felt my mindset about alcohol changing and just move into this different place and I felt excited about what I was doing and enthusiastic and kind of just mm-hmm. wanting to get on with this mm-hmm. new life and it was wonderful and you're right that's great advice and of yeah. course Annie's also got the alcohol experiment program there's a free one which people can join for the first 30 days which is brilliant I mean that helped me so much there was videos every day you could journal on there I mean that really did kind of see me through and hold my hand so yeah those, those sort of things are great so yeah that sounds like you were perfectly set up and you're still reading now you're still which yeah I always recommend to people just you know keep on continuing that development it's not like you just read one book or just do one 30-day program and then that's it i'm free it's all over i know you gotta keep at it because 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 you learn something you're constantly learning different things and understanding why and what alcohol done to you so and then when it all makes sense you can relate back to it and think well yeah that's why that happened or that's how I felt like that because at the time you've got no idea what's going on exactly so it's all it all makes total sense and I think what happens for many people is you know they move we were talking earlier about you know being in a place where you felt stuck you knew you had a problem you didn't know what to do about it that that for me is the worst bit in the whole sober journey and then you kind of the next stage you start educating yourself you start realizing i can do something about this and you start learning about it and then the next stage you start putting what you learned into practice and you're like a little toddler walking around you keep falling flat on your face and picking yourself up again but gradually you can walk a bit further and it gets a bit easier and then normally for me i'd say probably about six months i actually felt like you know i feel like i've mastered this i feel like i you know i would never take a drink again i i I love what i am and what my life looks like now and and i rarely think about drinking but that you know that takes a bit of time that doesn't mean i don't keep my guard up by the way but um i I do feel you move to a place where and you're probably like just there or thereabouts uh, five months where you'll start thinking you know the thoughts just come less and less frequently uh, and you feel like yeah I've, i've I've got this mastered. I'm in a good place, and then you start helping other people like you're doing. Which, yeah, which is just definitely. so cool. So, have you? Obviously, your group's growing all the time, and I'll share a link to your group in this on YouTube okay. and on Facebook and everything like that. So, like I say, do join and follow what Martha's doing because it's absolutely awesome. Have you? Have you? Uh, the group's like a community and it's obviously there you're trying to make it fun and engaging for people which is cool yeah. do you have members from all over anywhere do they don't need to be uk based does it matter no global a- anywhere at all perfect yeah so and i i, I guess you, you know you're just going to see the group keep on growing have you got any plans beyond that or are you just taking it as it comes um i want to well, after all this lockdown's out of the way, I'm I'm I'll be in touch with my dead action people. That helped me a lot. I want to see if there's a way that I can move forward and actually start helping people from like from that side of it. Like I, I don't know how it all works. Like to maybe become a volunteer and go to groups um, and chat to people. Tell them my experience, or 
I don't know how it all works, but that that's what I'm going to look into. Um, but when what once this is all over and focus moving towards that direction and even get a career out of it, I don't know. Yeah, that is so cool. And um, I know I know quite a few people who've you know they've quit drinking, they've gone on to become alcohol coaches or um you know kind of counseling type work life coaches that sort of thing and it's funny how it kind of totally you know all this from putting the bottle down and suddenly you know just sends you in a completely different direction and you're you realize that actually what i want to do is help other people in my life and and it strengthens your own resolve in sobriety i think as well doing that yeah definitely and you feel appreciated you feel like you're you know you're doing right you're doing the right thing Mm -hmm. um and I, you know, I was I was so lucky that I was able to become a coach for this naked mind, and then I've gone on to write a book and all the rest of it, which has just been the weirdest but most incredible experience in my life. And um, and I, now I'm seeing other people that were like that I kind of I saw them quit, and now they're starting to do these things as well. It's just such a cool experience. Um, I did an interview with a guy called Rob Woolman, who is in the US. And he's just started his own coaching program and he became a This Naked Mind coach. And, you know, and I've sort of seen him go from, you know, almost at the start, right right the way through to where he is now. And he's an awesome guy and he's doing so many amazing things. And it's just wonderful to see that. I love it so much. So, that yeah. And the thing is, you can do so much online now as well as um, yeah. and share, you know, even like in your group and it, in my group that we can do things live especially when we're locked down you know and help people mm-hmm. and share the love so now you're doing amazing things and your story is just so inspiring and Thank powerful you. it really is thanks so much for joining martha I, 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 you're very welcome yeah and um, i'll let's keep connecting and i'll keep on checking out what you're doing and keep sharing the love i will do thanks Thank for coming so on much,